think he wants me to leave. <laughs> Literally falling everywhere. Now I'm gonna feel bad. Here we are with the cars on another day. Unfortunately, it's gloomy, but at least it's not raining, and the cars actually look fairly clean from over here at least. Recently, like literally the last couple of days, I've been really thinking about the fact that, like, if I had a Urus. I could realistically daily drive it with no issues. Obviously in the past, I've tried to daily drive the Gallardo, but you simply can't take it everywhere because of how low the car is, unfortunately. You know, obviously there are safety concerns here and there, but I don't really think about it too much. You know, I just don't want it to get dinged or anything like that. Obviously when I take it places, I don't really expect it to get broken into or stolen. Or at least I wouldn't hope anything of that nature happens, but you know, when it comes to freaking driving it out, I'm more concerned about it getting like damaged somehow during the drive because the roads aren't the best. But if we had a Urus, we didn't wouldn't have to worry about all that. But unfortunately, we don't have a Urus, at least not yet. But I have been looking. This gloomy day is like a really peaceful feeling. So that's kind of nice everything is sort of just you know feel like life's just happening we're all just chilling i mean not literally chilling because we're all probably busy working but yeah i don't know it's very uh relaxing actually to be out here in this gloomy weather it would be nice to at home relaxing not having to do work but unfortunately we're not you know we're not uh to that point in life yet but give it you know five ten years we'll see but regardless i do have the 71 vinyls to still put on the door which i'm trying to do i wanted to you know try to do it over the weekend but i literally had no time I spent a lot of the weekend actually doing legal work and yeah so got content and everything piling up that I need to edit and yeah unfortunately I just didn't have time to work on the vinyls I still need to do the tire markers on the right wheel which I've been sort of unable to do for a long time at this point you know i've been talking about it for a long time i'm not even sure when i did the left wheel but at this point i think it was like several weeks back but damn people always cross red on here but regardless this uh collab of sorts so the sweater say 71 race team which is all of y'all all the supporters and yeah i'll be unpackaging that i'll try to do that after i get home at some point so you guys probably will see it in the next actual segment of this vlog but i'm really excited about it i got it a couple of days ago i think there's actually three sweaters in there but haven't had the time to open up any of it but it should be pretty cool embroidered sweaters and you guys should check it out too and you guys could cop them by reaching out to me directly on instagram um, at tzeal or you could reach out to uh, triumph streetwear directly on instagram uh, literally at triumph streetwear and cop yourselves a sweater this lexus for sure another person going on red another two people going on red i should say 
this Lexus is for sure all over the road. As you guys can see, now it's jumping back into this lane. Not signaling or anything. But I guess that's just how Bay Area drivers are. So this man is like literally all over the road. Or a lady. Um, but yeah, stay safe out there. You never know who's on the road. Driving like a crackhead and shit. Um, damn, this person is going oddly fast. Their car is all types of screwed up. Broken tail light. Looks like they got side swiped or something, considering the entire side is all like damaged. This Audi is pretty nice. I think my sister and I saw a modded one somewhere recently. I don't remember where it was and what it looked like, but it actually looked pretty nice and it was modified. But from my understanding, they're fully electric, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm not, you know, here or there on it. I think a huge aspect of driving any car is really the exhaust. I think that is one of the main things I enjoy about this car. And I'm like, damn, I wish I had set up an exhaust on the M5 or you know even the c63 but mainly the m5 because i feel like i could have enjoyed the car a lot more than i actually did if it had an exhaust the car was like super powerful and fast stock as you guys know it has like 600 horses bone stock and you can easily tune them and i believe the zero to 60 time is like 2.9 so it's actually extremely fast uh, car in general not even just a sedan but like really fast vehicle but I never really enjoyed it like that. And I feel like, you know, looking back now and like why I, I enjoyed this car a lot, it's because of the exhaust. And I'm like, hmm, like if I had gotten an exhaust on the M5, maybe like I would have had like a completely different experience and maybe the M5 would have still been here. But regardless, um, that's sort of how I feel about electric cars. Cause I'm kind of like, I think conceptually it's cool because you're not having to pay for gas. I guess you're paying for the charges and stuff, which presumably is a lot cheaper than gas. But at the same time, I'm like, what's really the driving experience if you can't even hear, hear the car? And even with like cars that aren't fast, you know, the, the huge part of the experience is like the exhaust notes and like what the drive feels like when you're like, accelerating and stuff even if you're not actually going very fast and like the car is like really slow slow and not very powerful but with electric cars obviously you have fast cars but you miss out on like what i think makes the cars actually fun which is like the driving experience um you know you're not about to put drag tires on a freaking electric car you're not about to have like an exhaust on the electric car you're not about to rev an electric car, um, so on and so forth. And so I feel like you lose a lot of that experience just to go quote unquote faster. But a lot of these electric cars, like people be driving them slow as hell. So it's like, you're not even, you know, like the people that are actually enjoying the electric cars aren't enjoying it because of their zero to 60 times and stuff of that nature and them being quick. Um, so I'm like, I don't, I don't think I could enjoy it to that level considering how much you would be giving up um, just to have an electric car so that's sort of where I'm at with electric cars but yeah I mean you never know I'm not necessarily opposed to like some sort of hybrid system where you still have an engine and all that but I'm not completely sold on like a fully electric car at least not now obviously one day we won't have much of a choice who knows how expensive gas will be if we're you know transitioning to electric cars and maybe there's not as many gas cars like 20 30 years from now and like how expensive gas might be but yeah i don't know we'll see i guess looks like looks like the post office is literally packed and unfortunately I came right now because I didn't think it would be packed because it's sort of a random hour in the day. It's like 12 o'clock, but apparently I was wrong. Maybe a lot of people are on lunch break or something because it's hella packed. Finally back. That should took like a cool last minute. 
even though the line I was standing in, it wasn't like ridiculously long because there were multiple lines for different things, but it did end up taking a while because there was only two uh, employees working there. So, you know, fortunately, it took a bit. That was a modded smart car. I don't know if you guys were able to see that, but there is somebody that pulled in, I guess, after I came in with a M6 competition. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty sweet. We'll see if, uh, yeah, I guess they're still here exactly what I would want if I had an M6 at all. This shit's like really sweet carbon spoiler. You can tell it's lowered, black wheels, pretty much all murdered out. And, uh, yeah, pretty sweet ride, I would say. I don't know if I'd go with black wheels per se, but obviously it would fit the theme since it would match Lamborghini perfectly, but yeah, I don't know. Pretty sweet ride. Wasn't expecting to see a M6 comp, but yeah, once in a while you'll you'll catch a nice car, but not everyday thing. The pop and crackles is like pretty sweet. I just haven't really figured out how high in the RPMs I need to get it before releasing and stuff like that to make it pop and crackle. Um, but it happens pretty often, I feel like, but it doesn't happen every time. See, you guys could have maybe heard it there. So it's, uh, it's interesting. And as you guys know, it didn't pop and crackle like at all when I had the car originally um, or even after I did the exhaust it wasn't really popping and cracking but after I got the wheels changed I guess that changed the dynamic of the drive enough where it started popping and cracking like constantly um, so it's not anything ridiculous but it's it's very nice for what it is it's It. I, you know, I'm curious as to what the exhaust will sound like once we have the car fully built. And, you know, what that sounds like. Never really been around Whipple Supercharger, so I don't know. Lyloed, the wine will be, and all of that. Don't know what the exhaust will sound like when it has um, almost like 400 extra horses under it. But should be pretty badass. I'll probably redo the exhaust once I'm sort of done with the car or like later on. I do want to do a quad setup because I don't really like the dual tips on these Mustangs. That's actually one of the things I really loved about like or whatever but you know really like the quad setup that's something I've wanted to do I actually like the quad setup on all cars really I try to do that on the Nissan when I had that um, but unfortunately I think they just didn't have the tips or whatever for me to do that so I did something else Audi unfortunately I think the bumper the way it was cut it would only allow uh, a dual tip a uh, single one on each side but you know, I yeah. At that point, I was just a college student, so I didn't have money like that to get a new bumper and like have it match and all of that and so on and so forth. So I couldn't afford that. And you know, the list goes on. The 04 Mustang, I've wanted a quad exhaust um, for a while. I've wanted to run it through the side, but you know, I need a. bumper 
bumper to do that or not a bumper I need a new side skirt to do that and unfortunately they don't make the Roush ones anymore with the exhaust cut out so I need to figure that out um but yeah I do want to do quad setup on that I do want to do quad setup on this I would need a new bumper and you know there might be options out there I haven't really been looking because I'm not really trying to spend money on a bumper right now and like for me to redo the exhaust because I spent I think it was like about like 600 on the current setup so I don't want to spend more money than I have to I'm pretty sure we just cut the tips and put new tips on um, so it wouldn't be as expensive but sort of don't want to get into all of that especially considering I'd have to buy a bumper and I, I don't know how much that would cost and you know I probably wanted to color match so that's like a whole different um, scheme of issues of you know trying to locate one that's already pre-painted or um, having to spend money to get it to match um, just for quad exhaust so like I don't, I don't want to get all uh, crazy with it right now considering we're going to be spending money on other stuff like um, the HRVs for the front you know we still need to pay for the charger supercharger install hood pins potentially get a carbon hood and so on and so forth side louvers I think and yeah, so we'll get there eventually, but I do want a quad exhaust setup on this car. I think it would be really cool. And I wanted to shoot flames, but I'm, I'm no mechanic by any means, so I'm not exactly sure what would be required, whether it would be like the tune itself or some sort of particular exhaust setup or a mix of both to make it shoot flames i don't need anything ridiculous but you know if i could get some flames out of this car that would be really really badass the only downside being if i were to be shooting flames out of this car uh, i might go to jail just as quick so would need to be very careful with that whole thing if we're shooting flames in this car and here we have the Triumph Motorsports and 71 Race Team collab. And yeah, I believe I ordered a hoodie for myself and a crew neck. And I ordered my sister a crew neck as well, if I'm not mistaken. So. Okay. That's pretty sick. Triumph Motorsports. 71 race team. Actually looks I knew it was going to come out good, but it actually looks even better than I thought it would. So I'm not I guess I have to open this one, but I did get one for my sister, so I don't want to open her sweater up, but as you guys can tell, we have hers in navy. We're basically going to sell this in just two colors, one being navy and one being black. And yeah, this is mine. As you guys could tell, we have a black crew neck, 71 race team. Shout out to all of you guys. Um, you know, wouldn't make even make these sweaters if it weren't uh, for you guys. So Pretty cool, 71 race team, uh, crew neck sweater. It's actually, it feels extremely soft. It actually feels softer than previous sweaters that I've gotten made, um, or previous sweaters I've ordered. But maybe, you know, maybe I'm tripping, maybe they're always this soft, but you know, not that they weren't soft before, but like something about this material and everything is different. And I know for a fact, these are different than before because I've ordered a sweater before and it was a different uh, different rope in there. But yeah, as you guys could tell, one is obviously the crew neck version. And then we have the identical hoodie version, 71 race team, Triumph Motorsports collab. And yeah, I can't wait to put them on. They look super comfy. As you guys know, I do like my clothing baggy. So this is actually a 2XL. And this is also a 2XL, and obviously I don't 
literally need to wear a 2xl i could probably fit like a medium or large depending on how tight i want it to be but we are going for that baggy look that we always like that's super comfy so cop your own sweaters as i mentioned uh, you can hit me up directly at uh, tz on instagram you could hit up uh, the brand itself at triumph streetwear on instagram and there are other pieces like you guys uh, would see um on the website which is a uh, triumph Clo, uh, dot us i believe but if it's something else i'll just uh, link it in the description but yeah you guys could cop other stuff as well and yeah pretty happy about this and you guys will probably see me wearing it very soon not surprisingly we will be taking the mustang out we do have to run some work errands here we are with the mustang I haven't turned it on in a while, but I think my dad might have turned it on a few days ago. Well, let's just make sure it starts. Here we are. Very early Saturday morning. It's like 6 a.m. right now. Cars are looking magnificent. And we are going to take the Mustang out. So my neighbors, I'm very sorry going to leave as quickly as possible I'm not going to really let the car warm up and yeah let's head out literally trying to be as quiet as possible so I'm not even really accelerating just trying to cruise down the street Literally trying to go as slow as possible on this hill. Hopefully my ass doesn't start rolling backwards. But um, yeah, running a work errand actually this Saturday morning, and I will be going to my partner's house to grab a couple of boxes of documents, which will be easy. Yeah. So we'll be doing that. Not sure exactly what the schedule is for this morning. Or for today, I should say. I'm grabbing those boxes. I'm going to start getting them scanned. But I don't know how far I'll get or how much time I actually spend on it. I do have a lot of other stuff to do, like content wise and everything. So, you know, we'll see. But I do need to get the scanning done sooner than later. So there is some pressure on that end to get that done um, my partner actually was scanning a separate box that came earlier yesterday through the mail so I decided to basically help considering how much scanning we need to get done and yeah so I'm headed out to the south bay grab the boxes and then come back home figure out what exactly I want to do might go to FedEx because they offer scanning i don't really have a scanner that would work well in this particular situation because obviously in two boxes we're potentially looking at upwards of like ten thousand pages um so we're going to need a quicker method than that something more commercial and yeah we'll, we'll see and then i'll probably hit you guys with a montage and see you guys in the south bay it is very very rare for this to occur where there's not much traffic on the freeway in the bay so i'm going to try to enjoy as much of it as possible obviously there is some traffic but as you guys can tell my lane is pretty clear it like never happens i feel like usually the fast lane is actually one of the slower lanes ironically and the express lane is obviously also empty and i could use it so pretty nice pretty nice Everybody's 
fact that now that I'm like down the street, I realize that like I actually low key don't even remember the address, and like it's been a few years since I've been to his house. So we'll see what happens. I have to see if I can spot it or I might need to ask him for his actual address. We're almost there. And I'm pretty sure I know where I need to go. I almost made the wrong right turn. But yeah, fortunately I realized very quickly that I was going to turn in the wrong place. It's not any of these, I don't know. Oh, is it right here? Oh, here it is. Hopefully his neighbors don't hate me, but yeah, let's head home. My partner actually really liked the car. He immediately noticed that I had a new Mustang. Kept saying it was gorgeous, and I was like, that's pretty kind. Boxes ended up being a lot bigger than I thought they would be. have a deadline today to basically send documents and we're not 100% sure what's in there what's not so we're going to be in an interesting Venture situation on Oakmont Place. obviously right. even if I were to spend all day scanning this and even if I was able to scan through everything today which I sort of have some doubts about um I'm not in 900 feet, well I mean not even on Will Rogers Drive. like there would there would be like literally no way we'd be able to get through all the documents because obviously they need to be scanned for one and then they need to be organized and somebody has to actually review them and whatnot at least quickly enough for them to grasp what's in there